Welcome to MCC Pilot Log. In this video tutorial, we will explain how to log function and condition time. We will first take a look at the difference between function and condition. Next, we will set up the software to make it automatically load function and condition time. Finally, we will also cover mass editing. The difference between function and condition time is that function time is your function time on board the flight deck. This can be pilot in command, second in command, or other functions like copilot, instructor, or check pilot. Condition time is the condition in which the flight was conducted, such as IFR or night time. If you want to log special times like night vision goggles or sling and winch, you can add up to four user time fields. Looking at the software, you find the function and condition time fields here at the bottom. In this sample, you see that the boxes for actual instrument or cross country were not active. Activate new time fields from the settings page. Go to settings and flight logging. On this page, you decide which time fields you want to log with MCC Pilot Log. For instance, I want to log cross country. You can also set up user time fields like night vision goggles or navigator. Do not use these user time fields for solo or aerobatics. We will cover that later. The new fields now appear on the flight page. Here they are. You can start logging cross-country time, night vision goggle time, and navigator time. You can also configure the flight list and decide which columns are in view. For that, go to the Settings page and then to Display Layout. Here in the list, select any column you want to display. We will now configure the software and make it automatically load your function and condition time. To automatically load function and condition time, you must make sure that the field is active on the Settings Flight Logging page. Next, we go to the Tables Aircraft page. Select the aircraft and select the Auto Load function. This box covers the function times. For instance, when I log a flight on this aircraft, my function time will automatically be set to instructor. I also want to automatically load cross-country and IFR time. Click Save. Now when I go to the Flights page and I insert this aircraft tail number, the software will automatically populate the fields. It has put me in as pilot in command because I had selected instructor. Now the Pilot in Command field and the Instructor field have been preloaded by the software. It has also loaded the IFR time field and the Cross Country time field. For automatic calculation of Cross Country time, you must make sure that the Auto Load Cross Country box is selected. The same goes for nighttime calculations. Make sure that this box is turned on. We will now cover how to mass edit records from the database and change the function and condition time. Just imagine that you had forgotten to turn on the automatic nighttime calculation, and in the meantime, the record is already in your database. You can then mass edit the records. Use the multi select function and select the records you want to change. Then, calculate nighttime. Nighttime is now showing in the box. You can also use this function to modify the fields. For instance, set the time to zero or transfer the time from one field to another field and execute. 
Now let's take a look at the totals. If you go to the home page, you will find the totals in the left upper corner. This table will only show a breakdown of function time and condition time for aircraft. It does not include simulator. Continue with View More. The Totals page shows the totals for your function time and condition time. It's also showing a breakdown for single engine and multi engine, and for single pilot and multi pilot. These breakdowns were taken straight from your aircraft properties. As mentioned before, you should not set up a user time field to log aerobatics because this is taken straight from your aircraft properties. The auto load function is also available on your mobile app. Thank you for watching.